said there is something creepy about the second floor of this house. She genuinely believes that this house that she bought is haunted. I have a very weird vibe in here. I don't know anything about this house, but I'm getting the vibe of like an elderly couple. That's really bizarre. What in the world? It just stopped recording for no reason. He's recording. He's recording. Whoa. What if I count down? Can you sit down on the couch? Ooh, that was creepy. You can move on. Dead. Do you make Pam feel uncomfortable in this house? So we were contacted by a lady named Pam who genuinely believes that this house that she bought is haunted. She doesn't live here. And in fact, she said that she's planning on tearing the house down. She said there is something creepy about the second floor of this house. Yeah, supposedly there's an energy, uh, like you said, up on the second floor that terrifies everybody that comes in here. Yeah, she has friends that go up to that second floor and without her even telling them about this strange energy that she's felt up there, they automatically say that there's something off about it. So she asked us to come in tonight and investigate the house and see if we can pinpoint what might be causing the energy. And it is right up here. Oh yeah, there it is. Definitely has a weird vibe. It does, it definitely has that apprehensive, creepy energy when driving up to it. And that could just be the way that it looks, but either way, this should be interesting tonight. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Do we, this yeah. way? Yeah, I think we just pull right up here. Let's head in and do an initial walkthrough completely uninfluenced by any sort of information. She didn't tell us which room it was that she felt uncomfortable about. No. We don't, we've never been inside the house before, so no. let's walk in and see what we can find or pick up on. Let's do it. Wow. <laughs> you doing okay there, Dave? No. <laughs> like I told Ryan, I might be built like a polar bear, but I don't like the cold. <laughs> and it is cold today, guys. It is gonna be about a real feel of zero degrees tonight. So, and this house doesn't have heat. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is our first time walking in here. You ready, Dave? Yes. Let's go in. Very much ready. The current homeowner didn't feel comfortable to be interviewed for this episode, and she said her suspicions of an unexplained presence within the house stem from two photos being taken outside and an unwelcoming feeling that is experienced by almost everyone who has entered this house since she purchased it. But before we can get into that, we have to look at the historical research we did into the property. One of our favorite historians, Matt Cumberledge, sent us this map of the Cedar Hill District of Fayette County, Pennsylvania from 1872 and it shows this property being owned by a J. Johnson. Now almost all the Johnsons in Fayette County, Pennsylvania were farmers, and from our research we discovered a Joseph, John, and a Jacob Johnson, who could have resided on the land at that time. The current house was built in 1893, and despite a few cosmetic changes, it remains fairly original. So original, in fact, that the house, to this day, doesn't even have a bathroom, making it a very unique and historical home. I have a very weird vibe in here. I don't know anything about this house, but I'm getting the vibe of like an elderly couple. Not that I'm a psychic or anything like that, but that's just the immediate vibe I'm picking up on in here. Yes, and the funny thing is, is Pam doesn't know anything about this house. Pam, the owner, doesn't know anything about this house either. But what she did hear was that back behind the house, in the line of trees back there, that there used to be an old one-room schoolhouse, and it was rumored that that one-room schoolhouse burned down. She's mm. had the impression, and she's even seen children, the spirits of children, around this house. 
Pam bought the house for the land and didn't even enter the house when purchasing it. She remained focused on the outside property, building a fence for her dogs, and took two photos. The first one that confused her was a picture of her car that appears to be surrounded by a mist, and the second photo she took of the tree line and believes that she can see a small misty figure standing in the trees watching her. But in our research, we couldn't find any evidence in the county records of a one-room schoolhouse burning down at all. And from our 1872 map, we see the closest schoolhouse was at the other end of the road about a mile away. But the unexplained phenomena experienced here could have origins that trace back to the previous owners. Oh wow. So this is the room that I guess anyone that's ever come here has felt uncomfortable in. But do you feel uncomfortable in there? Um, I don't know yet. Horror. Horror. I th to me, I felt like it was that other room at the very top of the stairs. Undecided. Over here, yeah. It might be, I don't know. Or it could be this room, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, because she said there was dead flies everywhere in this room. Not only have people gotten so uncomfortable that they've had to leave this room, but Pam has also noticed that it's the only room in the house where flies collect <laughs> and die on the windows. This only adds to her suspicions of this room being haunted. If there's anyone here, my name is Ryan and this is Dave and we're gonna be here tonight. Pam, the lady that owns the house, she's had strange feelings and experiences in here and captured strange images and she wants to know who you are. She asked us to come in here and find out who you are. So if you could come out and let us know, we'd greatly appreciate it. When we come in, we're gonna have a lot of lights. We're gonna have a lot of weird gadgets and gizmos that make noise and light up and we'll be back in in just a few. Frank. Frank. Frank? Frank, like the name, the man's name, Frank. If there's a man here named Frank, we'd love to talk to you. Or anyone else that's here, we'd love to talk to you. What do you think, you ready to get started? Yeah, the sun is going down. The horizon is turning orange. Let's go grab the cameras, set up all of our night vision stuff, battery up the equipment and see what we can capture when this house is completely empty. Let's start this out just like we would any other investigation. Yeah. It's time for abandonment. Let's go. All right, so we are getting ready to leave this house empty with cameras rolling to see what is picked up or captured when no one is here, when it is completely empty. So we have four cameras rolling throughout the house, one here in the room that Pam and her friends say has the strangest and creepiest energy. We have the REM pod over here, one of the motion vibration activated cat balls right here behind Dave. And then over here on the second bedroom on the second floor, right here, we have a camera set up pointing across this main bedroom and towards this doorway here. Okay. Headlights. What does that say on the camera? Ah, it stopped recording. Why? The file's still here. That's really bizarre. Okay, let me restart this again. What in the world? Okay, rolling. All right, we are rolling again. Okay, we've not had that happen before when setting up for an abandonment. This camera right here just decided out of nowhere that it was going to completely stop recording. It didn't shut off, the file was not corrupted. It just stopped recording for no reason. That is very weird. It's not uh, full, is it? No. Five hours and three minutes of recording time left. Wow, okay. And it's plugged in so it wasn't the battery. Yeah. So that is very bizarre. That's, um, that's a first. 
But like I was saying, there's a camera over here in this room in the bedroom pointing across this way that is kind of acting as a tic-tac-toe cross pattern so that every part of the second floor is visible. And I mean every part of the second floor is visible because the stairwell also has an action cam at the bottom of it pointing up and there's a mail meter with the REM function turned on on the stairs. But in that, you can also see the kitchen. In the first level, we have in the living room area, there's a camera set up with the EDI plus meter. So literally every room in this house has coverage right now. Oh yes. And if something happens, we're gonna know about it. So are you ready, Dave, to leave this house empty and to perform abandonment to huh? see if anything paranormal happens? Yes. All right, good luck. Hey, there's a cat ball there. And it broke. <laughs> oh, that going in the blooper reel. <laughs> it might even go in the episode. <clears throat> We're leaving! <laughs> oh my gosh. We're leaving! Got it. Got it. Let's get out of here. I got the keys. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. Cutting my audio real quick before I forget. Okay. Before we left, I placed an LED flashlight on the kitchen table. This flashlight has three color settings, green, red, and blue. I left it on the green setting, 10 minutes into abandonment. The flashlight mysteriously turns off by itself, then slowly fades back on, this time in the blue setting. Every time this flashlight turns off, it will change colors when it turns back on. The question is, what caused the light to turn off? This is not a twistable mag light. This is a push button flashlight. So it turning off and back on has us scratching our heads. Then five minutes later, the ghost tube sitting on the kitchen table says, Fire. Warm. What's bizarre is that it's been rumored a schoolhouse burned down near this property, and Ghost Tube spits out these two words back to back. Fire. Warm. That's either very relevant or a strange coincidence. But then everything in the house fell very quiet, except for the EDI plus meter detecting some environmental changes in the living room. Whoa, we're back. Bored. What did that just say? Bored. A board. I thought it said door. <laughs> so we are rolling on the SLS camera here. As you can see, it is mapping Dave as a stick figure because the structure light sensor is using its depth sensor to find the shapes of objects and it has discovered that he is the shape of a human, so it mapped him. A lot of people believe that when you use this tool, that if something pops up, a stick figure mapping pops up, when there's nobody actually there, that it could be something paranormal. That's right. So, what was that? What was what? You didn't hear that? It sounded like something slid across the floor upstairs. I did not hear that, but we have a camera up there, so. And something just popped up on the SLS right over where I heard it from.
and now it's gone. That's strange. Literally just turn this camera on. Wow. Well, if you're over there, Ryan's taking your picture. Can you show back up so he can get another one of you? You can also use this box in my hand to talk to us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Did you hear that? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. It is completely pitch dark. I just played volleyball with myself with the spirit box in total darkness. <laughs> There's a box in my hand right here. I know it probably looked pretty silly as I just about dropped that. But you can use this. Ooh, that was creepy. That oh, was creepy. It sounded like a kid. Let's go upstairs. But you can use this to speak to us. Is there someone upstairs? We're gonna come up and see you. Can you say hello to us? Let's say evening. My name's Ryan, this is Dave, what's your name? If there's someone upstairs here, we don't mean you any harm. What's your name? My name is Ryan. We heard there was a schoolhouse behind the house here that may have burned down. Is that true? Whose house is this? Tell us your name. That was weird. It sounded like screaming. It did. That was weird. It sounded like screaming. It did. That was weird. It sounded like screaming. It did. Who's screaming? Is there someone that's upset? I'm coming in if I don't fall. Okay. What did that just say? Are we keeping you awake? Or are you trying to go to sleep? A lot of interference over here coming through this yeah. spirit box. Guys, I am not even kidding you when I tell you that it is maybe 20 degrees up here. I mean, it is, and that's Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It is well below zero Celsius in this house. It is freezing, so. But we've come out here to try and capture paranormal evidence and that's exactly what we're gonna try and do. No weather stops Paranormal Quest. Although Dave is in a lot of pain, aren't you? <laughs> Careful. Sorry.
Do you make Pam feel uncomfortable in this house? As always. As always. If there's someone in here, can you come up the stairs? I'd love to hear your footsteps if you could. Did you die in a fire in the school on this property? I can take your portrait. If you want to play a joke on us, you can. You can knock stuff over. You can push things, grab things, throw things. Hell, you can even push us or knock us down if you'd like. As you saw from a few minutes ago, it's not hard to do. Both Dave and I have almost fallen in the past 10 minutes. You know, you don't have to be shy. You can come out and talk to us. We're gonna head downstairs if you'd like to follow us. It is your house, I believe. Ooh, what it say? Sound like it said mommy. Were you a student at the school? Did you catch that? <laughs> yeah. Just missed the step. This is why I shouldn't be allowed to run the SLS camera in complete darkness. You remember what happened to me at the Stark Saloon? Yeah, enter that clip now. It went off again. Oh! <laughs> oh, geez, are you okay? Yep, I'm good. Here, give me the... <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a bad one. Whoo, buddy. Oh, last one. Okay. Do you want to stay in here or do you want to go in the living room? Let's go in the living room. We've already done a little sweep in here, but we can always end back in here. Okay. When Dave first came in here, when we got here this afternoon, he said he felt like there was a, a married couple. <laughs> He did this? That's what it sounded like. There was an elderly married couple that he picked up on. Was this your home? There's... Say upstairs. Sounded like it said stairs. Stairs. Go to the stairs here. Are you on the stairs? He's recording. He's recording. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah, plain as day. I am recording, but... That's weird. That's weird. We're recording so we can see you. Is that okay? Hey, King, yeah. Uh... Picking up. Hold on. Come back over here to the couch. It sounded like it said sit. Did you sit down? What if I count down? Can you sit down on the couch and appear on this portrait that I have in, that I have in front of me? Five, four, three, two, one. Take a seat. Whoa, something just popped up there. Really? It wasn't on the couch, it was to the left of the couch over there. Or to the right of the couch, I mean. By the door. Yeah, it was by the door. Is there someone over by the door? Just so you know, we were given permission to be in this house. If you'd like for us to leave, can you throw something at us so we know? Well, we did a full sweep of the house. Really, I mean, a couple of weird figures popped up very, very briefly. I think we should turn this off because we've been walking around with this now for about 44, 45 minutes or so. 
I think we should turn it off, maybe go up to the room where they say the weird stuff happens, and maybe do an Estes Method spirit box session from that room. What do you think? Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's grab all of our stuff and head on up. Let's do it. Here you go. Okay. Are oh, you sh where's the blindfold? Whoa. Nobody's moving. Hello? That was weird. I can go get the blindfold. No, it's clear out on the car. Oh, is it? I'm just gonna pull my beanie down over my eyes. Okay. If there's anyone here that would like to talk to us, Dave is right there. And he can hear you if you speak through that box that he has. Can you tell us how many spirits or people are in this house right now? Speak to Dave. If someone was touching that light behind Dave, can you do it again? Or you can touch this one right here. There's another one right here on the ground in front of me. Can you touch that one for me so that I know you're here? My name's Ryan and that's Dave. What's your name? Are you one of the students from the school? Right behind me in this room right over here, my friend Dave is trying to speak with you. He has things on his ears that may look really strange to you. And he has this box that he's holding, or it might be sitting beside him. And you can use that box to speak to us, to tell us your name, to tell us your story. We don't mean you any harm. We're not here to antagonize you, and we certainly don't want you to have to perform for us. So if you don't want to speak to us, you don't have to. And in fact, if you would rather us just leave right now and stop trying to talk to you, just tell us to leave. One word, leave, and we will be packing up and out the door before you can say, thank you. What if I left Dave up here on this floor by himself? And I went down here on the stairs. Would you be more likely to talk to him if he was more alone? What? Thank you. Who's back there behind Dave? Do you like that I'm not on the same level as him? No way, that's me. Thank you. Let me just try this one more time. No, that was not me. Almost fell down the stairs there. Okay. So far, I have not heard a single voice. Okay. But this is what happens on authentic investigations sometimes. Dave has no idea that the millimeter is going off behind him. If you're back there setting off that device behind Dave, can you please just go up to him and say his name? Say his name, Dave. Say hello, Dave. What if I went even further away? Is 
If there's anyone down here on the first floor, come upstairs. My friend Dave is up there, and he'd love to talk to you. It just shows you the variance in locations also because our last investigations, Estes Method Spirit Box session was off the charts. There was a very low male voice that tried to come through. Ooh, who's the man? I'm gonna leave the room again now. Whoever the man was that tried to talk, can you tell us your name? My name is Ryan. You may know that already, I've told you a couple times. That's Dave in there. I'm trying to be polite and make friends with you, what's your name? One voice, the whole time. Yeah, man, I'm not hearing anything on here. Yeah, there was the, um, the only weird thing that's happened since you put the headphones on. Yeah. Is I walked out of that room and onto the stairs, and as I was standing on the stairs completely still, the mel meter started going off behind you. Really? So I don't know if you moved at all in here to cause it to go off, but... I haven't moved at all that I know of. Interesting. Yeah. Very weird. So right now we are in the living room downstairs, a part of the house that we really haven't investigated other than that little SLS walkthrough that we did. So we have some equipment spread throughout, three cameras in here. Hopefully if something happens, we'll be able to pick it up. So, but so far it's been pretty quiet here unless we caught something on abandonment or on audio. Computer. Computer. Hmm. We do have the PSB7 set up over here with the temperature sensor turned on. Living room. It just said living room. Which is strange because that's where we are. Can you use the device on the table to tell us what your name is, please? Rolling EVP session in the living room of Pam's house. Run. We're not running. Why do you want us to run? If you want us to get out of your house, all you have to do is tell us. Why Don't come in. We're already here. We're already inside. Like I was telling you upstairs, we really don't want to intrude, so if you really don't want us here, all you have to do is let us know, say leave, tell us to get out, and we'll pack our stuff up and go because we don't want to make you uncomfortable in your space. Lord knows we're uncomfortable in your space. Cold as f in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Check this out right here. This might look a little crazy. But you can use this as energy to communicate with us. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> Look, guys. You touch that, that lights up. That's kind of wild. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you can see how that works. You can use that. to try and communicate with us. That's pretty cool. It's an interesting experiment. It's interesting to think that scratch. if- Scratch. You can scratch us if you want. But it's interesting to think that if I go over here and I touch that, that will go off. Mm-hmm. 
So it'd be an interesting experiment if they are able to touch. If they are able to touch that, that maybe that will go off as well. Right. I'm going to step over here and record it. And maybe you go over there and touch that glow. Father. Father. I'm going to count down for you. Maybe you can try it when I get to zero. Three. Two. One. Zero. Watch. We're watching. Devil. This isn't the devil. But if you are, we'd love for you to show something to us. Before we go, I just wanted to say... Why am I here? That's weird. It said, why am I here? And then the EDI is just going nuts with like all of its lights. Not just the temperature drop, temperature rise, and air pressure all at the same time. We don't know why you're still here. That's what we're trying to figure out. You know Pam. She comes in here all the time. She brings her dogs here to play outside. She wants to know why you're still here too. You know, if you don't want to be here, you don't have to stay. You can move on. You can cross over. You can leave this place. Start a new chapter. You can cross over. You can be at peace. You can start again. We're not sure how this works, but I certainly hope that when it's my time, I have choices like that. I have choices to be at peace and rest, or to start again and try something new. Dig. Wow. Dig. Did dig? Did dig. Hmm. Maybe they decided to go and be at peace. I hope so. Not that we felt much here from the beginning, you know, I mean, obviously paranormal activity and things like that fluctuate and most of the, most of the day and night we've been distracted by how cold it's been here. So we haven't really had much ability to tune in and really pick up on anything, but evidence wise, it's been slow, but just to give people an idea of how distracted we've been by the cold, it's 28.5 degrees, as it says, indicated on the display there, standing right beside this ginormous heater. <laughs> yeah. This is the biggest heater in the house and we have it turned on naturally. And still, right over here, it is still 28.5 degrees. Yes. It is absolutely freezing, beyond freezing, really. And uh, it's only supposed to get colder uh, the longer the night goes on, because that's how that works. So I think that means we're gonna go ahead and pack it up and call it a night because we can't stand this cold much longer. Who knows, we may find more on review than what we realized. I mean, who knows what we caught on abandonment. We don't know in this moment, you guys know, watching at home, but we don't know right now, so. But thank you all so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. That helps us more than you know. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button as well to help us out. If we get this video to 7,000 likes, that would help us out so much because getting more likes gets the video into the algorithm helps YouTube suggest it to more people who would like this type of content. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you engage with the video, make sure you leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought of the video, what your favorite piece of this investigation was, and if you saw anything on this investigation that we didn't. Just so you guys know, little announcement, we have a new website, paranormal.quest. So as soon as this video is done, go up into your URL bar and type paranormal.quest. Register for the website. We even have a live chat on the website where you can chat with other fans of the show anytime. We may even pop in from time to time as well. So make sure you register for the website, read the forums, watch episodes, check it out. It is a lot of fun and it is just the start of the amazing things that we have in store for you. 
But if you guys wouldn't mind, share the video with your friends and family. And of course, we will see you next time on the next video. And this paranormal quest continues. Thank you guys so much. Peace.